so for this build, I got an old lawnmower blade, just like in the game. Uh, well, as close as I can get, you know. These aren't exactly known for being the greatest steel because it's just cheap lawnmower blades. But I, uh, um, uh, you know what, screw it. Let's make a blade worthy of Kaisar. Okay, so I got this all forged out the way I wanted it, and then I remembered that uh, in the game there's a nice hole in the center of the blade, which, you know, it's a lot more blades that's so gonna happen. And I was gonna actually hot punch that because that's gonna be way easier than trying to drill a 
you know, a decent sized hole in carbon steel. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go in. Uh, I'm just gonna use this end of a bolt. I use it as a hot punch tool, it works. But gonna have to hot punch the hole and then, uh, you know, flatten everything back out again. Cause it'll probably bend it a bit. Oh well, it happens. Now that I have the hole hammered in the way I want it and everything shaped, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just kind of grind everything to, uh, you know, the proper shape and then of course put in, it'll be a pretty, pretty large bevel here and over here like a lawnmower blade and then just have a kind of a steeper one going the whole length of it. Uh, yeah. You know, do, some, do some grinding, and then of course sand it to make it sharp and look a little nicer. So now that I have my edges ground in and slump, somewhat sanded, uh, this is only done to like 60 grit and I don't know how much I'm going to sharpen them because this is supposed to be a pretty crude blade and honestly it actually looks pretty crude and looks pretty close to in the game. The edge is a little different because it almost looks like a few scratches and notches as opposed to an actual ground and edge and I want this to still be a functional blade. so. I guess all I have to do is probably cut in a little bit of a notch here because there's a little bit of wrap that I'm going to add and then just heat treat and temper it. And of course, handle scales, which I drilled a couple holes in already. Uh, those aren't in the game, but handle scales kind of require uh, pins or at least they're really handy. That's better. Now all I need is, you know, heat treat and temper and handle. So now the blade is heat treated and tempered, I'm going to go ahead and cut out and epoxy on some handle scales. This is actually looking a lot like it did in the game, a lot more than it did before.
Squishy, will you please get off the work table? <laughs> Don't do that. So after giving it a uh, leather wrap, this is a little different from the game. Same general pattern, but I don't have like black leather. And in the game, I'm not gonna lie, I think it's supposed to be leather, but it looks like electrical tape. But I also think the handle's more or less just taped on instead of actually having a tang like that. But anyway, I just had some leather lying around and it doesn't actually make it too bad because it kind of dug in a little bit along the edges. But with that, uh, that leather makes it pretty comfortable to hold. It, honestly, it's not really too bad of a blade design. Uh, it's a bit hefty in places and probably wouldn't be my first choice, but as far as video game weapons concerned, it's not too bad, considering most of them are generally uh, way over the top and unusable. But then again, it's Fallout, not, you know, some sort of MMO or RPG game. Well, I guess it's technically an RPG. Not important. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it definitely looks like this forge from a typical lawnmower blade, other than being kind of wide, which the ones in the game are. I've never actually seen a lawnmower blade like this, beyond the general shape, but it looks pretty close to the game, minus a little bit of the battle damage, I guess, that they have. But I don't like cutting in battle damage, I think it looks dumb. I'd rather get slightly damaged from use, which this probably won't see a ton of use. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and. Hopefully I can test this if it ever gets above zero.